Section 9 of These Spiritual Exercises by St. Ignatius Loyola Translated by Elder Mulan This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Section 9 Mysteries The Mysteries of the Life of Christ Our Lord Note It is to be noted in all the following mysteries that all the words which are enclosed in parentheses are from the gospel itself and not those which are outside and in each mystery for the most part three points will be found to meditate and contemplate on with greater ease of the annunciation of our lady st luke writes in the first chapter first point the first point is that the angel st gabriel saluting our lady announced to her the conception of christ our lord Quote, the angel entering where mary was saluted her saying hail full of grace thou shalt conceive in thy womb and shalt bring forth a son Close quote. second point the second the angel confirms what he said to our lady telling of the conception of saint john baptist saying to her quote, and behold thy cousin elizabeth hath conceived a son in her old age Close quote. third point the third our lady answered the angel quote, behold the handmaid of the lord be it done to me according to thy word Close quote. of the visitation of our lady to elizabeth st luke speaks in the first chapter first point first as our lady visited elizabeth st john baptist being in his mother's womb felt the visitation which our lady made Quote, and when elizabeth heard the salutation of our lady the infant leaped in her womb and elizabeth full of the holy ghost cried out with a loud voice and said Blessed be thou among women, and blessed be the fruit of thy womb. Close quote. Second point. Second. Our Lady sings the canticle, saying, quote, My soul doth magnify the Lord. Close quote. Third point. Third. Quote, Mary abode with Elizabeth about three months, and then she returned to her house. Close quote of the birth of christ our lord st luke speaks in the second chapter first point first our lady and her husband joseph go from nazareth to bethlehem Quote, joseph went up from galilee to bethlehem to acknowledge subjection to caesar with mary his spouse and wife already with child Close quote. second point second Quote, she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him up with swaddling clothes and laid him in the manger. Close quote. Third point. Third. Quote, there came a multitude of the heavenly army which said, "Glory be to God in the heavens." Close quote. Of the shepherds, Saint Luke writes in the second chapter first point first the birth of christ our lord is manifested to the shepherds by the angel quote, i manifest to you great joy for this day is born the savior of the world Close quote. second point second the shepherds go to bethlehem quote, they came with haste and they found mary and joseph and the infant put in the manger Close quote third point third quote, the shepherds returned glorifying and praising the lord Close quote. of the circumcision st luke writes in the second chapter first point first they circumcised the child jesus second point second quote, his name was called jesus which was called by the angel before he was conceived in the womb 
Close quote. Third point. Third. They gave back the child to his mother, who had compassion for the blood which came from her son. Of the Three Magi Kings St. Matthew writes in the second chapter. First point. First. The three Magi kings, guiding themselves by the star, came to adore Jesus, saying, quote, We have seen his star in the east, and are come to adore him. Close quote. Second point. Second. They adored him and offered gifts to him. Quote, Falling down on the earth, they adored him, and they offered him gifts, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Close quote. Third point. Third. Quote, they received answer while sleeping that they should not return to Herod, and went back by another way to their country. Close quote. Of the purification of Our Lady and presentation of the child Jesus. St. Luke writes, Chapter 2. First point. First. They bring the child Jesus to the temple that he may be presented to the Lord as firstborn, and they offer for him, quote, a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons, close quote. Second point, second. Simeon, coming to the temple, quote, took him into his arms, saying, Now thou dost dismiss thy servant, O Lord, in peace, close quote. Third point, third. Anna, Quote, coming afterwards, confessed to the Lord and spoke of him to all that were hoping for the redemption of Israel. Close quote. Of the Flight to Egypt St. Matthew writes in the second chapter, First point, first, Herod wanted to kill the child Jesus, and so killed the innocents, and before their death the angel warned Joseph to fly into Egypt. Quote, Arise and take the child and his mother and fly to Egypt. Close quote. Second point. Second. He departed for Egypt. Quote, who arising by night departed to Egypt. Close quote. Third point. Third. He was there until the death of Herod. Of how Christ our Lord returned from Egypt. St. Matthew writes in the second chapter. First point. First. The angel warns Joseph to return to Israel. Quote, Arise and take the child and his mother and go to the land of Israel. Close quote. Second point. Second. Rising, he came to the land of Israel. Third point. Third. Because Archelaus, son of Herod, was reigning in Judea, he withdrew into Nazareth. Of the Life of Christ Our Lord from Twelve to Thirty Years St. Luke writes in the second chapter. First point. First. He was obedient to his parents. Quote, he advanced in wisdom, age, and grace. Close quote. Second point. Second. It appears that he exercised the trade of carpenter, as St. Mark shows he means in the sixth chapter, quote, Perhaps this is that carpenter, close quote. Of the coming of Christ to the temple when he was of the age of twelve years. St. Luke writes in the second chapter. First point. First. Christ our Lord of the age of twelve years went up from Nazareth to Jerusalem. Second point. Second. Christ our Lord remained in Jerusalem, and his parents did not know it. Third point. Third. The three days passed, they found him disputing in the temple, and seated in the midst of the doctors, and his parents asking him where he had been. He answered, quote, did you not know that it behooves me to be in the things which are my father's? Close quote. Of how Christ was baptized. St. Matthew writes in the third chapter. First point. First. Christ our Lord, after having taken leave of his blessed mother, came from Nazareth to the river Jordan, where St. John Baptist was. 
second point second st john baptized christ our lord and wanting to excuse himself thinking himself unworthy of baptizing him christ said to him quote, do this for the present for so it is necessary that we fulfil all justice Close quote. third point third quote, the holy spirit came and the voice of the father from heaven affirming quote, this is my beloved son in whom i am well pleased Close quote of how christ was tempted st luke writes in the fourth chapter and st matthew fourth chapter first point first after being baptized he went to the desert where he fasted forty days and forty nights second point second he was tempted by the enemy three times quote, the tempter coming to him said to him if thou be the son of god say that these stones be turned into bread cast thyself down from here if prostrate on the earth thou wilt adore me i will give thee all this which thou seest third point third quote, the angels came and ministered to him Close quote. of the call of the apostles first point first it seems that st peter and st andrew were called three times first to some knowledge this is clear from st john in the first chapter secondly to follow christ in some way with the purpose of returning to possess what they had left as st luke says in the fifth chapter thirdly to follow christ our lord forever as st matthew says in the fourth chapter and st mark in the first second point second he called philip as in the first chapter of st john and matthew as matthew himself says in the ninth chapter third point third he called the other apostles of whose special call the gospel does not make mention and three other things also would be to be considered the first how the apostles were of uneducated and low condition the second the dignity to which they were so sweetly called the third the gifts and graces by which they were raised above all the fathers of the new and old testaments of the first miracle performed at the marriage of cana galilee st john writes chapter two. First point first christ our lord was invited with his disciples to the marriage second point second the mother tells her son of the failure of the wine saying quote, they have no wine close quote, and bade the servants quote, whatever he shall say to you do ye close quote. third point third quote, he changed the water into wine and manifested his glory and his disciples believed in him close quote of how christ cast out of the temple those who were selling st john writes chapter two. First point first with a whip made of cords he cast out of the temple all those who were selling second point second he turned over the tables and money of the rich bankers who were in the temple third point third to the poor who sold doves he mildly said quote, take these things from here and make not my house a house of traffic Close quote. of the sermon which christ made on the mount st matthew writes in the fifth chapter first point first to his beloved disciples he speaks apart about the eight beatitudes quote, blessed the poor of spirit the meek the merciful those who weep those who suffer hunger and thirst for justice the clean of heart the peaceful and those who suffer persecution Close quote. second point second he exhorts them to use their talents well quote, so let your light shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your father who is in the heavens Close quote. third point third 
he shows himself not a transgressor but a perfecter of the law explaining the precept of not killing not committing fornication not being guilty of perjury and of loving enemies Quote, i say to you that you love your enemies and do good to them that hate you Close quote of how christ our lord made the tempest of the sea be calm st matthew writes chapter eight. First point first christ our lord being asleep at sea a great tempest arose second point second his disciples frightened awakened him whom he reprehends for the little faith which they had saying to them quote, what do you fear ye of little faith Close quote. third point third he commanded the winds and the sea to cease and so ceasing the sea became calm at which the men wondered saying quote, who is this whom the wind and the sea obey Close quote. of how christ walked on the sea st matthew writes chapter 14 first point first Christ our Lord, being on the mountain, made his disciples go to the little boat. And having dismissed the multitude, he commenced to pray alone. Second point. Second. The little boat was beaten by the waves, to which Christ came walking on the water, and the disciples thought it was an apparition. Third point. Third. Christ saying to them, quote, It is I fear not Close quote. st peter by his command came to him walking on the water doubting he commenced to sink but christ our lord freed him and reprehended him for his little faith and then as he entered into the little boat the wind ceased of how the apostles were sent to preach st matthew writes in the tenth chapter first point first Christ called his beloved disciples and gave them power to cast out the demons from human bodies and to cure all the diseases second point second he teaches them of prudence and patience Quote, behold i send you as sheep in the midst of wolves be ye therefore wise as serpents and simple as doves Close quote. third point third he gives them the way to go quote, do not want to possess gold nor silver what you have freely received freely give Close quote. and he gave them matter to preach quote, going you shall preach saying the kingdom of heaven has approached Close quote. of the conversion of magdalene st luke writes in the seventh chapter first point first magdalene enters where christ our lord is seated at the table in the house of the pharisee she bore a vase of alabaster full of ointment second point second standing behind the lord near his feet she commenced to wash them with tears and dried them with the hairs of her head and kissed his feet and anointed them with ointment third point third when the pharisee accused magdalene christ speaks in her defense saying quote, many sins are forgiven her because she loves much and he said to the woman thy faith has made thee safe go in peace Close quote. of how christ our lord gave to eat five thousand men st matthew writes in the fourteenth chapter first point first the disciples as it was getting late ask christ to dismiss the multitude of men who were with him second point second christ our lord commands that they bring him bread and commanded that they should be seated at the table and blessed and broke and gave the bread to his disciples and the disciples to the multitude third point third quote they did eat and were filled and there were twelve baskets over Close quote. of the transfiguration of christ 
St. Matthew writes in the 17th chapter. First point, first, taking along his beloved disciples, Peter, James, John, Christ our Lord was transfigured, and his face did shine as the sun, and his garments as the snow. Second point, second, he was speaking with Moses and Elias. Third point, third, St. Peter saying that they would make three tabernacles, a voice from heaven sounded which said, quote, This is my beloved son, hear ye him. Close quote. When his disciples heard this voice, they fell for fear on their faces, and Christ our Lord touched them and said to them, quote, Arise and fear not. Tell this vision to no one until the Son of Man be risen. Close quote. Of the Resurrection of Lazarus John Chapter 11 First Point First, Martha and Mary sent word to Christ our Lord of the illness of Lazarus. Knowing it, he delayed for two days, that the miracle might be more evident. Second Point Second Before he raises him, he asks the one and the other to believe, saying, quote, I am the resurrection and life. He who believeth in me, although he be dead, shall live. Close quote. Third point. Third. He raises him, after having wept and prayed. And the manner of raising him was by commanding, quote, Lazarus, come forth. Close quote. Of the Supper at Bethany. Matthew chapter 26. First point. First. The Lord sups in the house of Simon the leper, along with Lazarus. Second point. Second. Mary pours the ointment on the head of Christ. Third point. Third. Judas murmurs, saying, quote, For what is this waste of ointment? Close quote. But he a second time excuses Magdalene, saying, quote, Why are you troublesome to this woman? For she has wrought a good work upon me. Close quote. Palm Sunday. Matthew chapter 21. First point. First. The Lord sends for the ass and the foal, saying, quote, Loose them and bring them to me. And if any one shall say anything to you, Say ye that the Lord hath need of them, and forthwith he will let them go. Close quote. Second point, second. He mounted upon the ass, which was covered with the garments of the apostles. Third point, third. They went out to receive him, strewing in the way their garments and the branches of the trees, saying, quote, Save us, son of David. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Save us in the heights. Close quote. Of the Preaching in the Temple Luke chapter 19 First point. First. He was every day teaching in the temple. Second point. Second. The preaching finished, since there was no one who would receive him in Jerusalem. He used to return to Bethany. Of the Supper. Matthew 26, John 13. First point. First, he ate the paschal lamb with his twelve apostles, to whom he foretold his death. Quote, In truth I say to you that one of you is going to sell me. Close quote. Second point. Second, he washed the disciples' feet, even those of Judas, commencing from St. Peter, who, considering the majesty of the Lord and his own baseness, not wanting to consent, said, quote, Lord, does thou wash my feet? Close quote. But St. Peter did not know that in that he gave an example of humility, and for this he said, quote, I have given you an example that you may do as I did. Close quote. Third point, third. He instituted the most sacred sacrifice of the Eucharist to be the greatest mark of his love, saying, quote, Take and eat. Close quote. The supper finished, Judas went forth to sell Christ our Lord. 
of the mysteries done from the supper to the garden inclusive matthew chapter twenty six and mark chapter fourteen first point first the supper finished and singing the hymn the lord went to mount olivet with his disciples who were full of fear and leaving the aid in gethsemane he said quote, sit ye here till i go yonder to pray Close quote. second point second accompanied by saint peter saint james and saint john he prayed three times to the lord saying quote, father if it be possible let this chalice pass from me nevertheless let not my will be done but thine Close quote and being in agony he prayed the longer third point third he came into such fear that he said quote, my soul is sorrowful unto death Close quote. and he sweated blood so plentiful that st luke says quote, his sweat was as drops of blood which were running on the earth Close quote. which supposes that the garments were already full of blood of the mysteries done from the garden to the house of annas inclusive matthew twenty six luke twenty two mark fifteen first point first the lord lets himself be kissed by judas and taken as a robber to whom he said quote, you have come out as to a robber to apprehend me with clubs and arms when i was daily with you in the temple teaching and you did not take me Close quote. And he saying, quote, Whom seek ye? Close quote. The enemies fell on the earth. Second point. Second. Saint Peter wounded a servant of the high priest, and the meek lord said to Peter, quote, Return thy sword into its place. Close quote. And he healed the wound of the servant. Third point. Third left by his disciples he is taken to annas where st peter who had followed him from afar denied him once and a blow was given christ by one saying to him quote, answerest thou the high priest so Close quote. of the mysteries done from the house of annas to the house of caiaphas inclusive first point first they take him bound from the house of annas to the house of caiaphas where st peter denied him twice and looked at by the lord going forth he wept bitterly second point second jesus was all that night bound third point third besides those who held him captive mocked him and struck him and covered his face and gave him buffets and asked him quote, prophesy to us who is he that struck thee Close quote. and like things blaspheming against him of the mysteries done from the house of caiaphas to that of pilate inclusive matthew twenty six luke twenty three mark fifteen first point first the whole multitude of the jews take him to pilate and accuse him before him saying quote, we have found that this man tried to ruin our people and forbade to pay tribute to caesar Close quote. second point second pilate after having examined him once and again said quote, i find no fault Close quote. third point third the robber barabbas was preferred to him quote, they all cried saying give us not this man but barabbas Close quote of the mysteries done from the house of pilate to that of herod first point first pilate sent jesus a galilean to herod tetrarch of galilee second point second herod curious questioned him much and he answered him nothing although the scribes and priests were accusing him constantly third point third herod despised him with his army clothing him with a white garment of the mysteries done from the house of herod to that of pilate matthew twenty six luke twenty three mark fifteen and john nineteen 
First point, first. Herod sends him back to Pilate. By this they were made friends who before were enemies. Second point, second. Pilate took Jesus and scourged him, and the soldiers made a crown of thorns and put it on his head, and they clothed him with purple and came to him and said, quote, Hail, King of the Jews! Close quote and they gave him buffets third point third he brought him forth in the presence of all quote, then jesus went forth crowned with thorns and clothed with a purple garment and pilate said to them here is the man and when the priests saw him they shouted saying crucify crucify him of the mysteries done from the house of pilate to the cross inclusive john nineteen first point first pilate seated as judge delivered jesus to them to crucify him after the jews had denied him for king saying quote, we have no king but caesar Close quote. second point second he took the cross on his shoulders and not being able to carry it Simon of Cyrene was constrained to carry it after Jesus. Third point, third. They crucified him between two thieves, setting this title, quote, Jesus of Nazareth, King of the Jews, close quote. Of the Mysteries on the Cross, John 19. First point, first. He spoke seven words on the cross, he prayed for those who were crucifying him. He pardoned the thief. He recommended St. John to his mother, and his mother to St. John. He said with a loud voice, quote, I thirst, close quote. And they gave him gall and vinegar. He said that he was abandoned. He said, quote, It is consummated, close quote. He said, quote, Father, into thy hands I commend my spirit. Close quote. Second point. Second. The sun was darkened, the stones broken, the graves opened, the veil of the temple was rent in two from above below. Third point. Third. They blasphemed him, saying, quote, Thou wert he who destroyest the temple of God. Come down from the cross. Close quote. His garments were divided. His side, struck with the lance, sent forth water and blood. Of the Mysteries from the Cross to the Sepulchre, Inclusive. Ebidem. First point. First. He was let down from the cross by Joseph and Nicodemus, in presence of his sorrowful mother. Second point. Second. The body was carried to the sepulchre and anointed and buried. Third point. Third. Guards were set. Of the resurrection of Christ our Lord, of his first apparition. First point. First. He appeared to the Virgin Mary. This, although it is not said in Scripture, is included in saying that he appeared to so many others, because Scripture supposes that we have understanding, as it is written, quote, Are you also without understanding? Close quote. Of the second apparition. Mark, chapter 16. First point. First, Mary Magdalene. Mary, the mother of James and Salome, come very early to the sepulchre, saying, quote, Who shall lift for us the stone from the door of the sepulchre? Close quote. Second point. Second. They see the stone lifted, and the angel, who says, quote, You seek Jesus of Nazareth. He is already risen. He is not here. Close quote. Third point. Third. He appeared to Mary, who remained about the sepulchre after the others had gone. Of the third apparition. St. Matthew, last chapter. First point. First. These Marys go from the sepulchre with fear and joy wanting to announce to the disciples the resurrection of the Lord. Second point, second. Christ our Lord appeared to them on the way, saying to them, quote, Hail, close quote. 
and they approached and threw themselves at his feet and adored him third point third jesus says to them quote, fear not go and tell my brethren that they go into galilee for there they shall see me Close quote. of the fourth apparition last chapter of luke first point first having heard from the women that christ was risen saint peter went quickly to the sepulcher second point second entering into the sepulcher he saw only the cloths with which the body of christ our lord had been covered and nothing else third point third as saint peter was thinking of these things christ appeared to him and therefore the apostles said quote, truly the lord has risen and appeared to simon Close quote. of the fifth apparition in the last chapter of saint luke first point first he appeared to the disciples who were going to emmaus talking of christ second point second he reproves them showing by the scriptures that christ had to die and rise again quote, O oh, foolish and slow of heart to believe all that the prophets have spoken was it not necessary that christ should suffer and so enter into his glory Close quote. third point third at their prayer he lingers there and was with them until in giving them communion he disappeared and they returning told the disciples how they had known him in the communion of the sixth apparition john chapter twenty first point first the disciples except st thomas were gathered together for fear of the jews second point second jesus appeared to them the doors being shut and being in the midst of them he says quote, peace be with you Close quote. third point third he gives them the holy ghost saying to them quote, receive ye the holy ghost to those whose sins you shall forgive to them they shall be forgiven Close quote. the seventh apparition john twenty first point first st thomas incredulous because he was absent from the preceding apparition says quote, if i do not see him i will not believe Close quote. second point second jesus appears to them eight days from that the doors being shut and says to st thomas quote, put here thy finger and see the truth and be not incredulous but believing Close quote. third point third st thomas believed saying quote, my lord and my god Close quote. christ said to him quote, Blessed are those who have not seen and have believed. Close quote. Of the eighth apparition. John, last chapter. First point, first. Jesus appears to seven of his disciples who were fishing, and had taken nothing all night, and spreading the net by his command, quote, they were not able to draw it out for the multitude of the fishes. Close quote second point second by this miracle st john knew him and said to st peter quote, it is the lord Close quote. he cast himself into the sea and came to christ third point third he gave them to eat part of a fish roasted and a comb of honey and recommended the sheep to st peter having first examined him three times on charity and says to him quote, feed my sheep Close quote. of the ninth apparition matthew last chapter first point first the disciples by command of the lord go to mount tabor second point second christ appears to them and says quote, all power is given to me in heaven and on earth Close quote. third point third he sent them through all the world to preach saying quote, go and teach ye all nations baptizing them in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy ghost 
Close quote. Of the tenth apparition. In the first epistle to the Corinthians, chapter 15. Quote, Afterwards he was seen by more than five hundred brethren together. Close quote. Of the eleventh apparition. In the first epistle to the Corinthians, chapter 15. Quote, Afterwards he appeared to St. James. Close quote. Of the twelfth apparition. He appeared to Joseph of Arimathea, as is piously meditated and is read in the lives of the saints. Of the thirteenth apparition. First Epistle to the Corinthians, Chapter 15. He appeared to St. Paul after the Ascension. Quote, Last of all, he appeared to me as one born out of due time. Close quote. He appeared also in soul to the Holy Fathers of Limbo, and after taking them out and having taken his body again, he appeared to the disciples many times and dealt with them. Of the Ascension of Christ our Lord. Acts 1. First point. First. After he appeared for the space of forty days to the apostles, giving many arguments and doing many signs and speaking of the kingdom of God, he bade them await in Jerusalem the Holy Ghost promised. Second point. Second. He brought them out to Mount Olivet, and in their presence he was raised up and a cloud made him disappear from their eyes. Third point, third. They, looking to heaven, the angels say to them, quote, Men of Galilee, why stand you looking to heaven? This Jesus, who is taken from your eyes to heaven, shall so come as you saw him go into heaven. Close quote. End of section 9. Mysteries.